Good morning, you guys. All right, welcome back to my channel. It's Katya Polks. Um, we're gonna do a what are you doing today? And I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about something else. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but we are gonna start with breakfast because it's a little late. I slept in. Yeah, it's almost 10:30. So, um, let's go downstairs and make us some food. <laughs> All right, sorry, the door's open, there's fans going, because it's really hot today again in San Diego. Um, but I'm gonna make some protein waffles really quickly. Um, use some coconut flour, la-di-da. Um, if you ever wanna see the recipe, just let me know. and We can always do another video for that, but I'm gonna just whip those up really quick. Okay, so, mm, sorry, the lighting is awful. Okay, let's see. So I made chocolate waffles, but some of them did not come out very well. I don't know what happened with the binding, but the other ones did. So, yeah, but they taste really good. I tried a little bit of one. Um, I just top it off with some blueberry syrup from Walden Farms, and then I make this kind of protein sludge using a powdered, like, peanut butter, and then I'll mix it with whatever, a different nut butter. My favorite, I am absolutely addicted to, is the freaking birthday cake from the Lion's Pack. Oh my gosh, if you guys saw my Lion's Pack, like, just full day of eating birthday cake flavored stuff, you would know them. Oh, I love birthday cake and sweet things. So, I mix that up so that it just, like, I don't know, creates, like, a paste. Because I ran out of their powder, excuse me, their powder peanut butter and their pancake mix. Otherwise, I'd have chocolate pancakes that are, like, birthday cake. <laughs> Alright, so... Yeah, so yeah, I top it like that, and then I'm gonna eat this up. Having just a Zevia ginger root beer. Oh my gosh, I'm addicted to these. Um, I just love having you know, a little bu bit of bubbles. And that's drinking soda. Maybe I'll have coffee in a bit. I don't know yet, because I love coffee too. But for now, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'll see you guys with the next meal. All right, so now I have my coffee, and it's just got some almond milk and a little bit of stevia in it. So good. Someone asked me the other day, you know, what's the hardest thing about being vegan? Definitely waking up early to milk the almonds so that I can put that milk in my coffee cup. Yeah. Mmm. So good, so good. Okay, so I am just getting ready to go to the gym. Uh, I'm gonna change and have a quick snack. So for my quick snack, I have my favorite protein bar. It's like the No Cow, their carrot cake bar. Oh my gosh. So good. I love all of their flavors so, so much, but I'm currently addicted to this, so I'm always ordering boxes of these. I have like a box in my car, a box in the pantry, just like boxes everywhere. So I totally recommend going out and trying it. You can actually, off their website, purchase a box with one of each of their flavors. So if you were like, oh, which flavor is my favorite and which box would I want to buy, you know, definitely recommend just getting the box of all the one flavors. Luckily, I have a coupon code. So you can use that if you want. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Yeah, ASMR. Mmm, oh yeah. I don't know. So good, so good. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to the gym. I got legs today. I'm not gonna film it, because I think I already have a video on what I do for my heavy leg days. And I just want to get the lift down done out of the way. So I can come back, eat, because I got church today, Sunday. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Oh my gosh, okay, that's, that workout took me so long. I was feeling like crap, honestly. Like the strength of this was there, but not like the energy endurance. Um, I definitely think it's time to do dog from caffeine, which sucks um, because I love my coffee, but that's why I got invented de decaf coffee. So um, yeah, but I'm hungry and I gotta eat cause I gotta go to church. So um, I'm gonna make a quick smoothie bowl and then I'll show you guys after I make it. All right, so I've got this bowl right here. It's got like spirulina and um, activated charcoal. That's why it looks so dark, excuse me. But otherwise it has like blueberries, pineapple, um, almond milk with some vanilla protein powder. Did I throw anything else in there? Um, guar gum to make it kind of that jiggly texture. And then on top of it, 
Um, we got cacao nibs, hemp seeds, I love hemp seeds, and then some cocoa whip, because this stuff is so good. Um, it's like cool whip, you know, the vegan version, and it's just so, so good. So I'm gonna eat this real quick, because I gotta get going. Also taking these two thin rice cakes. Um, yeah, since it's a full day of eating, I thought I'd let you guys know, but I gotta run. So we'll see when you, I get back. Okay, so I am back from church. It's kind of late and I'm actually like super under on my calories. Um, and I'm not, I don't try to like, if I'm falling really, really under, like I don't want to stuff them in late at night because also then I like, I don't know, wake up super bloated. So I'd rather be under than over. Um, and I definitely could fit actually a halo top in, but I've been wanting to try this Wink Frozen dessert. I've had it before, just not this flavor but they have their own cake batter. These, I mentioned before in another video that I had it in, they're pretty much like the vegan version of Arctic Zero in that like this whole pint is 100 calories, so it's a lot more icy, and so you don't get quite the ice creaminess that Halo Top at least gives, but they have cake batter, and y'all know I'm obsessed with cake batter. And so I was like, I need to try this flavor. And then another cool new thing I found was Synergy's Kombucha. I'm obsessed with kombucha. I had on pretty much like almost every flavor. It has a pink lady basil. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, the whole pint is 100 calories. Um, the entire thing for the macro is then 20 carbs, 8 protein, and 2 fat. Yeah, so the, like, the first ingredient is water. So it's more water-based, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Huh. Ooh, it smells really good. Let's see, let's take a, ooh, that was really close. Okay, let's take a quick spoon. Ooh, actually the texture in this one is a lot better than when I had like the peanut butter jelly. Oh my gosh. That tastes really good. It's got that iciness of almost like a sorbet, but this is, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. Yep. So I'm definitely gonna enjoy this whole thing. Let's try the kombucha. Mmm. Whoa, the basil is so nice. It is so refreshing. Honestly, was good. Was a little bit skeptical about like a basil flavored kombucha, but this is really good. Mm. All right, I'm gonna probably like watch some YouTube videos and enjoy this ice cream and kombucha. But I will go see you guys afterwards for whatever next snack or meal I have. I just gotta quickly say this: like, if you guys are having late night cravings and afraid for something to not fit your macros, I so recommend giving these a try. Um, you have to go on their website and then do their locator to see where they're at, because only one grocery store around me actually carries is called Lazy Acres. Um, otherwise, you can get them on their website, but they're more expensive on the website. Uh, but this just hit the spot like no other, and I have plenty of calories left for other stuff. Whereas if I had, had a halo top, you know, I pretty much would have been done for the day. So, this gives me more room. So yeah, just give, give a try. I wish I was sponsored. Sponsor me. So, still continuing watching, watching YouTube videos. I was craving something savory after the ice cream and kombucha, so I'm just having some shishito peppers. I love these things, and they are actually really fairly low carb, so, Maybe I'll have something afterwards. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now it's our last meal. I got a protein mug cake kind of thing I made with peanut butter and some cocoa whip and then some of that Sigmatic hot cocoa. Um, it's a like mushroom hot chocolate with some coconut whip on it as well. Um, yeah, I saw I grabbed a quick little packet when I was at Lazy Acres. It is this stuff, yeah. So, I don't know, it sounded kind of tasty. So I'm going to enjoy that. And yeah, that's gonna be it for my macros. I'm gonna eat this and then I'll close out this vlog video thing. So, see you in a bit. All right, my friends, 
I'm gonna end the video here and say thank you so much for joining me for this what I eat in a day. I know it was literally like what I eat in a day. Sometimes I include other kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more of it or have suggestions of other videos, do comment them below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cause if you're new, hey, what's up? I got you. You should uh, join the Fit Fam and subscribe because you know you know you're into the inference or in for some fun. So join the group. Um, it is late and as you can tell, I'm tired because I'm acting very strange. <laughs> all right, you guys. I will let you all go. I'm gonna get back to uh, watching more YouTube videos because I'm. Um, if I'm not watching Lord of the Rings, I'm watching YouTube videos, or I'm at the gym, or I'm eating, or I'm sleeping. Yeah, that's my life. I love you all. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful afternoon, day, whatever time it is. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.